Hello, this is Matthew White and I'm one of the contributors to the Fabric Composer project. Uh, this is an open source programming model and tool set to accelerate building blockchain applications. This is all uh, open source under the Apache 2 license and the idea is to help you build blockchain applications without knowing the low level details of how to interface to a blockchain. And in our particular case, the one we're building on top of is the Hyperledger Fabric. So what I'd like to, to do now is just show you the uh, quick start for Fabric Composer and show you how you can actually get going. So we can either follow the quick start link here or the button at the bottom of the screen. And we go to our uh, quick start guide. Just to cover the prerequisites that we need, the supported systems. Uh, we're on Ubuntu Linux 14 or 16. Um, I'm on 16 here. Uh, we've got Mac OS as well. Uh, Docker is used for the Hyperledger Fabric, and we've got the Docker Engine and Docker Compose versions there. Note this is the engine and not the uh, toolbox uh, version. Node 6 is our uh, supported level of Node. Please note version 7 at the moment isn't supported. Uh, NPM version 4 and uh, everything is in GitHub, so Git is needed. We do have um, some scripts uh, under installing prerequisites here if you want to have a more automated experience or if you've got none of these tools already. Alternatively, please do install them um, manually if you wish or you have some of them already. Uh, and these are the basic uh, commands here. So we're just going to, to get started. I'll copy this uh, npm command and we'll go to our command line and, and start running. I'm in a GitHub demo directory here for the purposes of this uh, introduction. So we're just uh, installing our uh, command line from the uh, npm repository here. Now this is all, all live so hopefully our network connection will mean this is uh, going to be reasonably speedy. So the Composer CLI tool just gives us some basic uh, command line utilities to help us work with Fabric Composer. And the essential thing Fabric Composer does is to um, allow you to model your business problem, your business domain, and be able to uh, interact with that. And the state of that business network is held on the blockchain, so you have a source of truth as to what state your business network actually is in. And the getting started is all based around uh, buying and selling properties and listing out some details of what properties exist and what offer sale. Quite simplified but a reasonably realistic example. So the uh, Composer CLI has now been installed and if we just quickly look at the help we can see um, some of the commands that are available. So we'll just uh, quickly go back now to our browser to copy the next command. And this is to clone our um, sample repository from, from GitHub. And this has a get, getting started sample in. And over time, we'll, we'll have some more. So I'll just issue that uh, uh, git clone command now. And it comes down pretty quickly. Um, so if we just change into the directory, we can see there uh, the uh, sample applications. Now we'll just change directly into our getting started example and, and this is um, packages getting started. Uh, packages is there so we can add some more uh, demos at a later date. So if we just go back to getting started here the last thing we need to do is the uh, npm install. So let's just copy this across. Now npm install, we've, we've set up uh, a npm script here to do a number of things. Uh, so obviously the npm will pull down all the required node dependencies. But in addition, we're also going to download the Docker images for the Hyperledger fabric. And we're going to start up a fabric instance actually running here on the laptop. Only the one uh, peer but uh, it is a real Hyperledger fabric running, so you get um, confidence that everything is working correctly. As I said before, this is live, so we will be pulling down the Docker images 
some of these documents, because I've run this before, will have actually already been cached, uh, but that is the only thing that uh, will have been cached. Some of them are, are reasonably sizable, so it does depend on your network um, speed as to uh, how fast they come down. Okay, so now we're actually pulling the Docker images, and you can say that's uh, reasonably fast, so it's uh, gone through. We're just waiting for the Hyperledger Fabric to, to start up now. Uh, and now we're actually running the Fabric Composer code. We've created what we're calling a business network archive that describes our business problem, and we're now what's called deploying that to the Fabric. Uh, and the idea is we have a uh, Fabric Composer runtime running on the Hyperledger Fabric, and we can put information about this network onto that. So that is all actually running. Uh, Node.js does, or NPM, sorry, does put out some lists of the packages that are installed, but I will just scroll up to the top of that list, uh, which is uh, quite a few dependencies it's pulled in, just to show you a little bit of what's happened. So we can see here we have installed what we're calling a digital property network. Uh, that has a model and some function behind it, which we'll come on to later. But key, we have two what we're calling assets here. One, which is a land title, which represents the property um, you own and you may wish to sell. And we also have um, a potential sales agreement if you wish to sell your property. So what we're actually going to do now is that sets some things up. So what I will just run is uh, the docker ps command. And you'll actually see uh, three containers running there. Uh, the bottom two are the Hyperledger fabric. And the top one is our uh, chain code container that will be uh, running some of the function for us. So what I'm going to do now is an npm test command. Uh, which is going to run away and do some actually use Fabric Composer for real. So a lot of that has been set up and now we're actually running. So the first thing we've done is actually put some titles in. So you can see that table in the middle of the screen here that says uh, title ID, uh, owner ID, first name, surname, description for sale. So what has happened is we've put on to the Fabric Composer and backed up by the blockchain, a land title uh, 1148, which is owned by somebody called Fred Blogs, and it has a description, and it's a nice house in the country. Uh, and you'll see he also owns another property, a small flat in the city, both of which are currently uh, not for sale. So he's decided he wants to sell one of these properties, put it up onto the market for, for people to buy. Uh, so what does he do? How does that happen? Uh, well, he does what we're calling submitting a transaction, which will send some information uh, down through Fabric Composer, and that will update the uh, source of truth on the Hyperledger Fabric itself. So then everyone is confident that this property is actually for sale. And one of the beauties of Fabric Composer is that actually we could make this a lot more sophisticated and be able to check that Fred Blogs does indeed own the property which he is claiming he wants to sell. So the uh, last thing now is to submit the transaction to say yes he wishes to sell one and you can see the last title there that the for sale has been marked as true and everything um, sorry for sale has been marked to yes so it has been um, set for sale and that has been updated on the Hyperledger fabric and that is the source of truth for what it what is happening. So that is the quick start. Uh, everything is uh, run through to completion, and this is listed here. So you can see on the web page what has happened. We've already seen this, and some more information on what has happened. The next tutorial will go through this in a little more detail and also show you how you can start to make updates. But we will do that in a separate video. So please do feel free to visit the Fabric Composer website. You can see the URL here. And if you want to get in contact and ask questions or join the discussion, either as a user or as a contributor, if you go to the support tab here, you can see we have a discussion channel on Rocket Chat, which is um, hosted by the Linux Foundation Hyperledger. Uh, and also, if you have questions, do go to um, Stack Overflow. There is a Fabric Composer tag in which you can ask questions. 
Thank you very much.